happy Wednesday, Doverne artists. I thought today what we could do is have a go at doing some vanishing word art. So what you need is a piece of paper, a ruler or a straight edge to draw along, nice sharp pencil and maybe a rubber. Firstly, you're going to choose the name that you're going to do and draw. I think the easiest way to do this is to draw a couple of lines and that's where you're going to be draw putting your name in. Now you're going to be doing it in block letters like this. You can find these, you can either copy them from here or you'll be able to find some online quite easily. They must be nice and square, no round letters. Then using your ruler, you are going to draw out your letters. I'm going to use uh, my dog's name, Indy. Again, keep them nice and straight. Where you've got your D, you're going to have to just make <clears throat> a little squared off edge or a little triangly edge there. Indy's becoming quite famous now in artwork. So, whatever word you're choosing to do. nice straight lines. Now what you need to do is decide where what we call your vanishing point is going to be. I'm going to put my vanishing point up here so I'm just going to put it with a dot. Now what you're going to do is look at the top point on each letter and you're going to draw a line using your ruler from that point all the way to your vanishing line. Keep your ruler nice and steady as you do it. So we're going to just keep drawing. It might be easier to start if you've got a long name, it might be easier to start with someone else in your family and do their name first. So all those points, all the way to the vanishing point. And you can see it's already creating an illusion. What we need to do now is we need to look at the other points on the letters. So with these, what you need to do is again start from the point. But once you are getting to another letter, stop. Stop behind that letter. Okay, next point. Line it up with your vanishing point and stop. Next one, line it up with your vanishing point and stop. Inside the D, vanishing point and stop. Inside the I, move your ruler around. Oh, that one you can go all the way up because you can see it from there. And then your E, you're kind of going back the other way. And again, back the other way. Now all you need to do is colour it in, give it a bit of colour. You could maybe use um, one colour for the letters, um, darker colours back, maybe you could do it in rainbow colours, whatever you choose to do. Have fun. Bye for now.